Howdy y'all, this is Proverbs 14 in the KJV for April 14, 2023. Pardon the stuffy voice. The wisest of women builds her house, but folly with her own hands tears it down. Whoever walks in uprightness fears the Lord, but he who is devious in his ways despises him. By the mouth of a fool comes a rod for his back, but the lips of the wise will preserve them. Where there are no oxen, the manger is clean, but abundant crops come by the strength of the ox. A faithful witness does not lie, but a false witness breathes out lies. A scoffer seeks wisdom in vain, but knowledge is easy for a man of understanding. Leave the presence of a fool, for there you do not meet words of knowledge. The wisdom of the prudent is to discern his way, but the folly of fools is deceiving. Fools mock at the guilt offering, but the upright enjoy acceptance. <clears throat> for the heart knows its own bitterness, and no stranger shares its joy. But the house of the wicked will be destroyed, but the tent of the upright will flourish. There is a way that seems right to a man, but it, its end is the way to death. Even in laughter the heart may ache, and the end of joy may be grief. The backslider in heart will be filled with the fruit of his ways, and a good man will be filled with the fruit of his ways. The simple believes everything, but the prudent gives thought to his steps. One who is wise is cautious and turns away from evil, but a fool is reckless and careless. A man of quick temper acts foolishly, and a man of evil devices is hated. The simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. The evil bow down before the good, and the wicked at the gates of the righteous. The poor is disliked even by his neighbor, but the rich has many friends. Whoever despises his neighbor is a sinner, but blessed is he who is generous to the poor. Do they not go astray who devise evil? Those who devise good meet steadfast love and faithfulness. In all toil there is profit, but mere talk leads only to poverty. The crown of the wise is their wealth, but the fool of folly brings <clears throat> but the folly of fools brings folly. A truthful witness saves lives, but the one who breathes out lies is deceitful. In the fear of the Lord, one has strong confidence, and the children will have a refuge. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life that one may turn away from the snares of death. In a multitude of people is the glory of a king, but without people a prince is ruined. Whoever is slow to anger has great understanding, but he who has a hasty temper exalts folly. A tranquil heart gives life to the flesh, but envy makes the bones rot. Whoever oppresses a poor man insults his maker, but he who is generous to the needy honors him. The wicked is overthrown through his evil doing, but the righteous finds refuge in his death. Wisdom rests in the heart of a man of understanding, but makes itself known even in the midst of fools. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. A servant who deals wisely has the king's favor, but his wrath falls on one who acts shamefully. Oh, man. Lots of warnings about being a fool and folly and how it's destructive and destroys what you're building and basically, like, seals your own fate, you know, out of the mouth of a fool comes a rod. Man, fools mock at the guilt offering. There's just so much here about fools and folly, you know, just mocking the righteous and then being destroyed. And just seems appropriate for the time we're living in. There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way to death. Everybody thinks they have the answer. Oh, I have an honor code. I have my own belief or some such. It's like, there's only one way. There's only one right answer. So, you know, just continuing to pray. Teach me to be slow to anger. Like, seek righteous so that I may not be an angry, wrathful person. And uh, in all toil there's profit, but mere talk tends only to poverty. Just like up here, it says about the where there's no ox, you know, it's a clean manger. So it's kind of like, <clears throat> to me, that's like paralysis analysis. You know, like, oh, well, if I do this, then that, and, you know, unforeseen consequences. So we don't do things because we don't have the thing planned perfectly or execution perfect. Um, but that's not what we need to do. Just get in progress and do it to it. And our diligence and our effort will be multiplied. So, I am really beat. I only got maybe three hours of sleep after that marathon. And um, wanted to go see some friends tonight. But I don't think that's happening. I think it's just time to catch up on a little bit of sleep. 
And um, wisdom rests in the heart of a man of understanding, but makes itself known even in the midst of fools. So even a bunch of fools talking, somebody can say something and everybody can identify like, oh, that's truth. Hmm. Well, be blessed. And if you happen to see this, I hope you have God's favor come upon you.